We are back with a live look at I-3990 in the Janesville area. This is at Racine Street and Highway 11. You can see there's a little bit of snow stuck on the camera there, but the roads are looking not too bad. 501 Wisconsin says there are slippery stretches in this area, though, and snow covered stretches as you get closer to Beloit. Madison Rios continues our team coverage. She's live in Janesville right now. And Madison, we last checked in with you on 27 News at 5. How have things changed over the last hour or so? We are back here live in Janesville where I'm giving you a final live update about the conditions and how it's been so far out here. Now, since I, excuse me, since you guys saw me last, um, conditions have changed a little bit. The snow has started to slow down a little bit. You know, it's still that wet and heavy texture. So like I said earlier, if you're out shoveling, just be careful, give your body rest when it needs it. Now I'm gonna have my photog Austin here. Just take a look at the roads and just see how it's more of that slushy texture. We still got this, um, it could start to cool down a little bit. So there could be some more slick spots. But cars are going at their usual pace. The plows have been by several times trying to keep up, and I think that they've done a great job. And as I said, it looks like things are starting to slow down a little bit. So that's all that I have for you for right now. But looking ahead, tomorrow night, it looks like we could get a light dusting of snow. And we're also tracking a similar system coming in on Friday. So keep your eyes peeled for that from our 27 Storm Track meteorologist team. But for now, reporting live in Janesville, Madison Rios, 27 News.